Hello and welcome to the Farming Sim Socks Way Up channel. We are in New Lands, a new series. We're starting off with just this gator and trailer. We're going to head on over to the land that we purchased. The point of this series is going to be starting from scratch, pretty much starting from scratch with no money, a rags to riches kind of story, survival challenge kind of story as well. There's a very large part of this map that is unpopulated. So the goal is going to be to completely take it over, establish it with productions, with farms. We really want to take this small town and make it flourish and really help it grow. That's the goal. So it's going to be a long series. It might be a slower start because we are starting with very limited resources. We do have a chainsaw. That'll be helpful. But let's head on over to our land that we purchased and take a look at what we got and probably cut down some trees to get started. Man, it's a little bit of a grind with this slow, this slow gator here. We'll get there. We'll get there. We made it. Wow, lots of work ahead of us. Lots of work ahead of us. So some of the rules for this series we have set up. The economy's on normal. I have everything enabled except for stones. I'm just I'm just not a fan of stones. We have precision farming for us. We have course play. Some of the things that we'll do is we will limit the amount of workers we use based on the money we have. Sometimes we'll use them just to help us out. But giving you a little idea of what we own so far, let's hop in here, click on farmland. We have 48 and 49, so it's going to be a good start. The idea is that we sold everything that we own from where we came from, and we got what we can with the money that we had in hand, and it's very limited. And I'm going to hop in here and do a little voiceover while we do our first pretty much time lapse of chopping down trees. I don't want this series to be a lumberjack series where we're just failing, failing, falling trees where we're just cutting down trees and taking them to the sale point. I'm gonna kind of jump through a lot of that pretty quickly, hopefully. It is a little bit of a grind with this type of series where we don't start with money and the best way to make money is to sell logs. Personally, just don't find that to be the best content. So we'll definitely do a little bit of time lapses here and jump a little bit ahead just so you can get the idea of what we're doing. Let me know if you would like me to slow down later on in this series and show a little bit more of this. And yeah, we are using super strength as well. I guess you could kind of say that's cheating. I, I just don't see any way around starting this way. And I see a lot of other creators doing the same thing. So enjoy.
All right, we've made it with our first load. Let's see how much money we're gonna make. I'm hoping around two grand. I just, I'm not sure. We just don't seem to you know, have a large capacity on this trailer and let's see. Ah, 1409. Not too bad, not too bad. We'll go, you know, rinse and repeat, and then we'll have a little bit of money to buy some of the things we need, but it's kind of gonna be a grind. So this is the tractor we're looking at first, this farm all. I found it on Mod Hub. We'll put links in the descriptions for everything. It's gonna cost us 3,500. So that is definitely what we wanna do. We're not gonna lease it. One of the things I didn't mention was we have lease to own enabled, so we will be able to lease some things in the future while we don't have enough money and then just keep them in hand and we're not gonna we're not gonna turn them in like if we lease something we have to keep it and buy it so leasing isn't a thing it's definitely us financing it to purchase it and there's probably the plow we'll probably go with there's a couple other you know there's a cheaper cedar that we found on mod hub as well which i'll put in the description also so that's some goals there seven thousand I am going to try to find not finance things. I'm going to try to actually be able to purchase them with cash as much as possible and then fall back to potentially buying things with leasing to own. And there's the you know mower that we'll probably start with when we get some grass established. All right, load number two. It looks like we got a little bit more in here. Let's see how we did. Let's unstrap that, head on over here, hit R. Yeah, 1500 so we're, we're getting close. We can almost buy that tractor. Almost. So here's all the wood that we want to finish. But one thing I did recognize or remember. Let's jump into this mode here. We're going to buy. And in, it's in uh, buildings and then tools. We're going to buy a little toolbox. And we're gonna that's going to allow us to update our configuration of our trailer here. Let's hop in there if we can. Uh, there we go. Let's go to, yep, this one. We'll go customize. We're going to change it to the bale trailer because that's going to give us straps. And in theory, we should be able to carry more wood each load by doing that. So that's, uh, yeah, yeah, I messed up there. Okay, so here's our big load. Now that we have that adjusted, we should be able to get over 2,000, I'm hoping, on this now. Uh, wrong buttons to get it all ready to go. And magic 2200 perfect okay so that is a lot better we'll be able to progress a little bit faster and we can afford our tractor now we might as well buy it i think i think we should buy it i decided to do one more load before we purchase anything and i got a little greedy with this large tree that we put on the back here um i don't think it's gonna make the turn i didn't didn't think that through so yeah, we're going to have to... Oh, no. This is going to be a mess. Okay. Everything stay. Don't... I hope everything doesn't fall. We'll just get this one out of the way and see if I can throw it over. That didn't work. Let's grab it again. Let's see if we can just throw it. That didn't work. Um. Yeah, maybe we'll we'll come back for that. Let's, uh, let's make sure everything's secure before we turn, though. All right, now we might be able to, yeah, let's back up just a little bit. Get our, nope, nope. This is definitely feeling like an Austin Powers moment. Turn, turn the wheels, turn the wheels. Oh no. Okay. We'll get there eventually. There we go. All right, so if we look at the money here, we have $6,700 now. That one's 12,000. That's, oh, that's a, that's a newer model, I think. Yeah, that's pretty though. Let's go back. Yep, we can't afford that. Let's go with this older one. We can go. We can upgrade it all the all the way to eighty horsepower. That's that's gonna be helpful. Yep. Let's get our first purchase. It feels good. That feels real nice. And then as well, we come in here. We need a subsoiler potentially. It's six fifty, but it's a little wider than the plow. Let's go back to the plow. Was it wider? The plow is 0.5 meters. The subsoiler is 1.2. We do have the mod enabled that allows us to make fields out of these type of tools. And the attachment, I'm not sure exactly which attachment we need for our tractor, so we'll gamble on that. But I think especially with the cost there, this plow is even more expensive. 
and it's smaller. So that's not going to help us out as much as the subsoiler would. So I think that kind of makes our mind up for us. Because of money? Yeah, I think so. That's five grand. It'd be nice. We just don't have it. We just don't have it, and I don't think it'd be smart to finance because we have no money coming in. So, cool. Let's look at cultivators. I don't think there's anything that I downloaded. No, we haven't installed anything that would be worth buying or that we could afford. So, let's go with it. 60, 650 bucks, not too bad. So, we picked it up, and we're starting to head home. And it's also about 17 miles an hour, the same as the tractor, or same as the gator. We'll, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, another load of wood for 2,300. So we're, we're moving along. We got 4,800, so close to be able to buy our planter. Not bad. So we're gonna start establishing a few fields here, and I am gonna use course play to do the outline. So we cust did the custom drawing of the fields and how I want them laid out. We are gonna generate this. I'm only gonna do the headland though, for them to actually create the outline of the field for me so if we do just one headland here and that should do it we'll generate the course and then if we start with yeah we'll do maybe two headlands just to give us a little bit of room hmm yeah okay so we got the course started here and i sped up to time lapse just to kind of get it done and and speed it up again we're, we're losing money here we do have it where it's a worker doing this for us so it is costing us a little bit of money we found someone in town to help us out just to get this outline down while kind of role playing here that I was staying on the barrier of our property to make sure we didn't cross over and having this this person that we hired help us hit the mark so it would be quicker for us so that's the that's the role play thought in mind that I had there and you can see we're just about finishing up this first pass and that gives us the outline to be able to just fill in the inside ourselves very sweet so the second field will just rinse and repeat the same thing we'll head on over you know and having these two fields might be more than we can handle but i'm hoping we'll be able to get through it without going broke jumping in here again you know cp2 is what this field is going to be called and we just generate it and select the field the target we're doing it wrong field position there we go that should highlight it now we should be able to jump in here Get the field position the direction we want open it generate it again just rinse and repeat of what we did with the last field again just kind of helping us out to establish this outline so that we stay within our boundaries felt like it was the safest cleanest way and it helps me get you know fields in the exact path and and design that i was hoping for which will be really cool it'll be really nice it's a nice way to establish this new land that we own and i'm i'm really hoping going for two fields just at the start isn't a mistake because I do want to have two different types of crops which means we have to have multiple types of equipment We've, we'll see oh man this has been a grind so far I'm hoping I can get this one field this smaller field done before it gets dark not sure how good the lights are on this tractor but yeah we got some trees to cut down too or that we cut down that we got to get rid of next episode there we go. I think we're just about done. It's, you know, getting dark. We have uh, been had a successful August. I, I feel like we've had a successful August. We have money in the bank. Just cleaning up this edge here. We got plenty of trees to, you know, turn in and get more money next episode as well, or next month in September. Just a couple spots that I want to make sure we completely clean up. And there we go. And we'll do the other field next month and turn in some more trees i'm really excited about the way this is going to transform it's it's going to be awesome i'm socks way up thanks for hanging out on the farming sim channel i'll catch you on the next one